Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing this Lexus IS250. I'm not sure the exact year, but it's from around uh, 2010. Um, basically, my dad's uh, Volvo broke down. So, uh, um, my mom's friend was kind enough to lend us this car. Um, you can see nice big headlights. Um, really looks sporty from the front. Um, and you can also tell the uh, influence from Toyota as well. Um, really um, nice color as well. Um, nice fog lights down here. Um, let's see, there's your grill pretty good styling um i prefer rather than going uh from up to down to from side to side but it's fine there's your what you're gonna see and there's your lexus symbol and uh we also just watched this it's kind of hard to tell um you know you got some damage like right here but uh with an old car like this it's apparent, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, you got nice big tail lights. Um, your, there's your Lexus symbol. And to prove it is an IS250. And, uh, yeah. You got, it, there's your exhaust pipes. Real exhaust pipes. Um, your uh, brake lights, I think. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's check out the interior really quickly. Um, here's your key fob, Lexus, and then you also have the spare key. All you do is, uh, put this forward. If I can do this one-handed. If you put it forward and then... I'll go over that later. Um, yeah, so to open the car, you could press the un uh, unlock. Or you can just use the keyless entry. Um, so just have the key in your pocket. And just put your hand here. And just press this to lock it. And it's locked. So. Yeah, so here's the interior. There's your uh, panels right there. The thing is uh, pretty nice in here. Um, let's go ahead and hop in. There's your floor mats. Or your floor mat covers. So yeah, basically my dad's Volvo broke down. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the alternator that's wrong with it. Um, so we're gonna have to take it to Volvo in a, a few weeks, which means that I will probably come out with a video on a Volvo, uh, on another Volvo. Um, also, um, I will finish posting my, uh, California videos as well. I haven't been able to upload those too much um but i will try to continue to upload those i'm almost finished i have like three two three more videos left so yeah but here it is here's your car um your lexus steering wheel really nice and proper multifunction. you have a, a voice commands uh you can really control everything from here um you got a sunroof Nice. I'm going to leave that open, actually, because it's nice to get some natural light in the car. Uh, um, yes, so uh, it's nice to get some natural light. You got a storage space here. It's pretty nice, like, cup holder, I guess. You could, I guess that would be considered a cup holder. And, uh, yeah, um, you got your emergency blinkers or hazards. 
Uh, that's a sound I've never heard before. Uh, yeah, you got this, uh, sun visor. Uh, you know, it turns on. I've let my hair grow out a little bit. Uh, sunglass holder in here. Um, you can turn on your reading lights. Uh, this is just if your door, if the door's open, these will turn on. Um, you got all, it's trying to tell you here that all of them are automatic. If you, yeah, there you can see it. it says all auto. That means all of the windows are automatic or power windows. Um, you can lock and unlock. Uh, you got your power mirrors there. AC. Over here, AC in the middle. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start it up for a brief moment. There's, it's, uh, push button start. So that was the startup. Um, so I guess they get it serviced at Toyota. Which I guess Toyota makes the car, so it's, uh, not bad. I think I'm, I'm just gonna, like, uh, press push button just to get some AC going because I'm kind of hot. Um, so you can see nice and cold AC. Uh, you can turn it up, turn it down, and then you can change the radio. Uh... Get your clock there. Uh, your shifter here. Um, you do have cooled and heated seats. I've tried out the heated seats. They, you can't really feel them. Uh, but um, it is what it is. Even though you know you really can't feel them. Uh, Really, it's just fans under this perforated leather. Um, the leather is kind of torn up, but obviously it's a pretty old car. Not sure the exact age. Um, you know, you got all your buttons here. I believe that's your parking brake. No, that's your hood release. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I'm going to turn on my cooled seats. This isn't like a Mercedes where you can press the button. You, you can uh, just turn the knob which I guess is nice as well, uh, so you can get that exact temperature, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. Um, anyways, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the front seat. You got your seat belt here. Pretty, pretty standard, basically. Um, there is a check engine light. I'm not sure if that's like, just cause I, have it started up. All right, and uh, also you do have this center console. That is really cool because it slides back and does that. And uh, has a, whatever that is, USB and uh, storage space. And uh, yeah, the seat belts work fine. I'm just gonna test them out. Because, well, obviously they work, but that's what it's like wearing a seatbelt in a Lexus. I don't know, guys. Um, anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you do have your uh, garage door um, buttons. You can connect your uh, garage door buttons to those, and uh, I guess you can use them to open your garage door up. Oh yeah, and you also you have these things that you can hold on to. I'm trying to think if I forget anything. I will come back if I do forget anything, so. And uh, opening pockets as well. And I know this leather looks unnatural. It's because it's a seat cover. 
So, yeah, it's, it looks nice, though. Um, leather's pretty torn up. That's because that's what happens with leather. It gets torn up. And obviously you can press that to lock it. Or I'll just... Okay, I'll just unlock it myself. One second. I accidentally locked it up. And uh, there's your fuel tank, sorry. So this is your back seat. Pretty nice back seat. Um, when I first got in here, I felt like there was not enough space. Um, but there is space. Um, pretty sufficient. Um, so I'm not like an adult or anything. So it's probably going to be a lot harder on adults. But um, I mean, hey, you got a lot of space back here. For a kid, I don't know, like, usually you're going to be transporting uh, kids. Sometimes you might be transporting adults, but, yeah, so, uh, you know, so I think like groom in the back really matters. Not for a car like this, because it wasn't built for that. It was built more for one or two people, right? Um, all right, so you got automatic windows. It says it right here. You nice big speakers. Um, you can lock it yourself. Unlock it. Another nice big speaker. Um, curtain airbags. Um, perforated leather. Um, Lexus has some of the best leather that you will find. You got this nice big... I mean, that's like S-classy right there. Um, nice big. It touches the ground. And uh, you got storage back here hang on cup holders that work and I almost thought that was a cooler for a second but obviously it wasn't you got uh, AC ashtray you know um, no climate control but you do have uh, this where you can control how much air is coming at you uh, airplane style pockets no pockets back here just big speakers, um, which is nice to have that. Um, you got uh, laundry hooks, these, and you got reading lights. Um, I'm starting to sweat a lot. These uh, Texas summers, they can get pretty brutal. Uh, yeah, so this is what you're basically going to be looking at from the back seat. Again, some of the best appointed leather in the business. You got a big speaker back here. And then you got the anchor uh, hooks for the uh, child seats. Um, there's everything up there. Nice. It's really nice. Um, you know, for, for what it was back then. Really nice Lexus. Really, really nice. <sighs> um, so let's hop into the trunk. Or not hop into the trunk, but you get, you get the idea. Nice. I like that uh, clunk. So, uh, wasn't able to figure out how to open the trunk, which is kind of embarrassing. So I'm just going to use this key. So hang on, let me get this spare key really quick. Alright, so here is the spare. Or I guess the emergency or whatever. You... So, um, you're going to come up through here. And just, sorry, put it in. Then push her up. And, um, first off, you'll notice 
this is for if you get kidnapped. Pull it down and you can just run away. I kind of find that drawing funny. Uh, here you got the cargo net. That's always nice to have. Pretty good space. You're not going to get as much space as some of the other brands. Um, but it's pretty good. I'm not sure the dimensions of it. Um, again, it is what it is. You can unhook the net by just unhooking that. And you can see there's a hook there as well. Um, you got all your tools in there. And I'm positive you have a spare tire under here. This is actually a mat. It comes up. And then you got your thing over there. If I can pull that up. And then there's your spare tire with your tool and everything. <sighs> pretty good trunk. Pretty good trunk size, trunk space. There's the back of the trunk open. And uh, here are your exhaust pipes too. Those are real. Um, so, yeah. Let's close it. Always like that clunk. And uh, just take the key out. And you can just put the key back into its place. So, uh, yeah, that's the Lexus. Here's what it looks like from the other side. I really like this wood. I think everything was well appointed in this car. Um, just a, 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 a beautiful, sporty looking, uh, elegant as well. There's everything. And you also have keyless entry here. Again, your nap pockets come in and out. And uh, we also washed my mom's car. Um, I was thinking about doing a review on it. I might do a new review on it. I already did a review on it, but I'm probably going to do another review on it. If that made any sense. Nice, hot sky. Um, just press this and it comes open. And... Uh, yeah, it comes open, and I think that's, I guess, convenient. Um, you can put, just put your key in there. Um, start up, because... I am hot. So I just need some AC. Would feel nice. Alright, uh, airbag. Um, again, you got this. I'm not sure if the light turns out or not. Uh, you got a CD player as well. And uh, original mat floor mats as well. Uh, you have your automatic windows. And uh, lock and unlock. Um... You can see a lot of influence from Toyota, for sure. But, um, it's more elegant than a Toyota. Definitely more elegant. Like, I know the leather doesn't look good now, because it's 10 years old. But, it's good leather. I mean, when this was new, this was nice perforated leather. And I can actually feel the uh, air from the cooled seats coming out um but it's 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 a good car um it's reliable maybe more reliable than a mercedes because they don't break down as often uh, so i mean it's a good car would i recommend buying it if you like it 
Um, this car was made in Japan, obviously. I'll show you the stuff on the other side. Um, it's essentially a Toyota, and uh, but better, obviously. So, again, everything's really nice in the car. Um, and uh, big thanks to my mom's friend for lending this to us. Uh, that was really nice of her to do that. So you can see the passenger airbag is on. Everything. Uh, I'm not sure. All right. And uh, you know some of the leather, uh, this hard touch leather kind of chipped. You can see here. It's kind of sticky up here, actually. Not sure what that is. And you do have a nice big speaker as well. Um, all right. This is a 2010 era. Lexus IS250. Um, really nice car. Um, you know, I think it, it competed with the uh, BMW 3 Series and uh, Mercedes C-Class. Uh, and the Audi something, I don't even know. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the Lexus. Um, I'll do one final walk around. This is it. As you can see, I'll show you the, um, all the, uh, information on it as well. I'm not sure where the owner's manuals are. So this is... All of your information was made in Japan. Let's turn it off. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I will get all the other videos from California out. Um, I'm not there anymore. I'm back home in Texas. Um, so... Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.